Welcome to your daily prescription. Today's dose is better ways to perceive uh, failure. There are better ways to perceive failure. All of us, from time to time, we experience failure. It is therefore not about whether you will fail or not, but it's really about how you see failure and what meaning you attach to your experience of failure. Depending on how we see failure, we can emerge empowered or disempowered. So let me share with you four empowering ways to look at failure. There are four empowering ways that you can use to look at failure. In other words, looking at failure in a way that it empowers you, it does not disempower you. Number one, Failure is an egg that you break to make the omelette of success. Let me say that again. Failure is an egg that you break to make the omelette of success. You cannot have the omelette until you break the egg. But can you imagine that at the breaking of the egg and sometimes it spills onto your clothes, you regard that as failure and you are frustrated and you are worried. Please don't be worried about the breaking of the egg. That may not be the most exciting thing to do, but you experience it before you can have the omelet. So look at failure in that way. You might have stumbled and fall. You might have broken something. Something might have not gone that well. But remember, it probably needed to happen for you to can experience the success that you need. So failure is an egg that you break to make the omelette of success. That's one way of looking at failure. The second way of looking at failure is, failure is a free university that the students of success attend to learn the lessons of success. Failure is a free university that the students of success attend to learn the lessons of success. So you might have failed, you might have experienced failure. Rejoice at this one thing, that it is a free university that you have just attended. And all you need to do is to make sure that you become a student of success so you can learn the lessons of success in that university called failure. And what is nice, it is free. Number three, failure is not a person but an event. Failure is not a person but an event. What that means is if you have failed, don't call yourself failure. I'm a failure, I'm a failure. You are not Mr. Failure, you are not Mrs. Failure. You just failed. It's an event that you went through. It's called failure. And there is another event called success, and it is on its way. So don't label yourself, don't give you the label of failure. You are not failure, you just failed. And the fourth one, and perhaps even adding even much more flavor into this, is that I often say myself, I have not failed, but the method I used failed. That's a nice way of looking at failure. That's a fourth way. I have not failed, but the method that I used failed. So if you have failed an examination, or you have failed a test, or you have failed whatever that you have failed, Look at it and say, actually, I haven't failed. I just used the method that failed, which therefore means that if I use another method, I may succeed.